Mmm. Mm hmm. I'm crying. Hey guys, what's up? I am here to answer all your questions. I've been getting a lot of requests lately for nutrition related videos and I would be happy to deliver because nutrition and the way I eat has changed my life. So I love to help you guys out. So I have a few things that I'm making right now. I am going to make some diced baked sweet potatoes, a little stir fry. This is what I'm making for us to eat tonight and later on in the week for a meal prep. And I'm gonna do two red bell peppers and then some onions and mushrooms for the stir fry. A tip for getting these bell peppers prepped, you just stick your finger through the middle and break it apart. Then you just kind of take out all the seeds and the gut and then I'll just cut this into strips. And I'm actually gonna cut these potatoes up first because I wanna get those in the oven first. I just cut them all in half. Then I cut the halves in a fourth. So you'll want them to lay kind of as flat as possible. So it's gonna take up a majority of the tray. On this little part, I'm gonna put my salmon because I'm actually gonna have salmon for dinner tonight. Let's get these red peppers sliced up. So I've had a lot of success with, on the day I buy all my produce, I will cut it all up all at once because otherwise it'll just get moldy in the fridge and not be eaten. If I just do it all ahead of time, it's really just setting yourself up for success and it makes it so much easier throughout the week when you want healthy options but you just do not feel like cooking. You'll have already prepped vegetables and already cooked meals that you can just pop in the microwave and reheat. That's what I like to do. If you really hate prepping vegetables, just keep them out of the fridge. Don't even put them in the fridge until they're cut. That's the key. So something that's really, really good in this stir fry is actually a yellow and an orange pepper and onions and the mushrooms. I don't know what it is, but something about that combination is just so good. So to season these potatoes, I'm gonna do salt and pepper, thyme, and some brown sugar, only a little bit. And this is pink Himalayan salt. If you haven't switched to pink, pink Himalayan salt or sea salt, something other than just plain processed white salt, you definitely should make that transition ASAP. I just use my hands to mix these all around. For this salmon marinade, I just put a tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of coconut aminos, one tablespoon of honey, a very small tablespoon of brown sugar, and then I let this sit in the marinade for a half an hour, did 15 minutes for each side. These are just gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes. It is set at 425. So, get this chicken breast in there so Zach doesn't starve because he's wasting away at the moment. For chicken breast, I cut them in half, like so. I don't know what it is, but it makes a huge difference when you cut your chicken breast in half. It retains more moisture, it'll last you longer because that makes two chicken breasts into four, cutting them in half. They honestly just taste so much better. I'm surprised at the immense difference it does make. Olive oil. Pepper, salt, 
garlic powder, onion powder. My camera died, so we're now filming on my phone. Zach's my videographer. So I have to wash off these mushrooms. Next, I'm slicing these onions for the stir fry. It really doesn't matter. You can even cut them in slices if you want. I'm literally crying right now. I'm gonna have to take a break here in a second. Let's go fix my makeup. <laughs> this is actually the first time this has happened to me this intensely. I don't know why. It's not like I've never cut an onion before. She cries like this when she watches Grey's Anatomy. I do. I need two seconds. <laughs> oh, you guys. Our bathroom's atrocious right now, so just don't. Okay. Can, I, can I get some privacy for like two seconds? Salmon's cooked perfectly because I like it to be a little more pink. Zach likes it to be like completely white. He likes them dead. I like them still a little bit slimy. Zach went ahead and cut up the mushrooms for me because I was changing a poopy diaper. Alright. Some salt. Some pepper. We really like pepper in this house. Onion, or this is garlic powder, excuse me. Cover that, and that'll probably take about 15 minutes. The chicken only takes like probably 18 minutes, I would say. Yep, that's perfect. So the rest of these mushrooms I will use for miscellaneous things. I like to just saute them or I can just use them in an omelet. Well, next we're going to chop up a head of lettuce. That way we can eat salads all week long. I'm going to chop off this very end because it's, it's yucky. We'll just say it. So now all I do chop it into little slices. It makes a good salad. So there's one head of lettuce. It took me like, what, 30 seconds? Put it in here. And it's so much cheaper to buy a head of lettuce than like the bagged iceberg lettuce. And literally, that took me 30 seconds. What you need to do when you're bagging up your lettuce or spinach or kale or any kind of leafy green, you need to put it inside of a Ziploc baggie with a paper towel. The paper towel will preserve your your leafy green really, really well. Like it makes a significant difference. So you can just stick this in there. All right, next we have some uh, celery. What's this? Um, and I'm just gonna chop off the end. This big guy just goes in the trash. Um, and then the tops, same thing. So just cut off the little tops, and then I'll cut these into pieces and use them for whatever, probably dip them in peanut butter for a little snacky snack. I 
I think people make food prepping out to be like such a big thing, but if you do it on Sundays and just take care of it, it's so quick. You already have all the materials out. You can make a giant mess and then clean up after, and it's just like, okay, you're done for the week. You have healthy options. It's a no-brainer. You need to get it done. So I'll wash these in a sec. I'm trying to hurry because our food's gonna be done really soon. I wanted to show you guys, this is some shrimp. Um, I just filmed a grocery haul and you'll see that I picked up a big bag of this shrimp and I bagged them individually and just put them in the fridge or put them in the freezer so I can throw them in the fridge when I want to eat it the next day. And by that time, it'll be unthawed. So that's what we do with that. And with this salmon, I've said it time and time again, what we like to do is we just cut this in half I'm gonna cut these fillets. I'll go ahead and put them in bags of two. That way, when we're ready to unthaw the fillets, you can just set out the bags in the fridge. And like I said, I will put these in pairs of two and then we'll just put them in the freezer in these bags. That way when I want to unthaw them, there's only two in a bag and it's just easy, you just set it out and they're ready to cook because there's only two of us in the house that will eat salmon, so. Come on into my office, sir. And this is what the stir fry should look like when it's finished. Mmm. So now we have some really great meals for the week. Some salmon, some chicken, some sweet potatoes. Mm-hmm. All right, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. What are you waiting for? We would love to have you as a part of this community and I just really wanna help you guys grow. So if there's something that you would love to see from me, please leave it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we will talk soon. Bye bye. I'm literally crying right now. <laughs> <laughs>